all right guys so i am um get ready to restore these headlights on my car i like to start off by sanding what i can and clearly this light has some some kind of something on it We're gonna get all that off first. Okay, so like most prep work, your prep work is really gonna determine your outcome. Now, I ended up using a little bit of cleaner on this because it was clearly something on the light that was really sticky and just nasty so I'm using right now the 2000 grit and then I have a 1000 grit that I could have used I normally go 1000 depending on how bad the light is but I went 2000 on this and this is all I'm going to do and as you can see we're already starting to get and this is just cleaner and and scrubbing so as you can see we're already starting to be able to see our light and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know let's just go ahead and clean that up I'm not going to be able to get all of these lines out of the light because this is really damaging to the light but we just give it a little bit more sanding. This is going to be the last time that I do these lights. Actually, this is the first time I'm doing it, but this is going to be the last time because of the, you know, these line damages. I don't know if something spilled on the light and damaged that like that, but the next time I'll be replacing these if I have to do this again, which in some cases more than likely you're going to have to some people put a sealer on these after they do this and that's to help um keep the lights from fogging up so that's all i'm going to do here and then i'm going to grab my um polish and apply my polish This is just water here, just rinsing it off. So that's just sanded and water. So now we'll go ahead and get our polish and keep it going. All right, so now I got my pad and my polish. I'm not gonna show you guys what this is because I'm not being endorsed for this but get yourself any kind of decent polish polish and compound and simply just go ahead and rub it in there now i'm gonna get my uh, buffer and cutting wheel we're gonna make something happen and what i have here is my um, variable speed buffer and we're going to get it going I'm going to cut this down switch my pad to a polishing pad and we're going to repeat all right so now I got my uh, 
polishing wheel on, my white polishing wheel. And I'm gonna just add a little bit of polish to this. Uh, it would help if I put some on it. Put a little bit more polish on it. I'm gonna have to be perfect with it because I'm gonna let the buffer do the work and this is going to be the last pass because these lights are pretty rough now I could go over this again I usually don't use this style of pad guys this buffer pad is really designed for like chrome and metal. Um, it is a polishing pad, but it's a polishing pad for chrome and metal. I generally use a bonnet style. Um, I usually use a bonnet style, what do you call it? Pad on this to do the, you know, headlights with. So I'm gonna give this thing probably one more pass because it came up pretty decent. And then I'm going to call that done. I mean, now I can see out of it. And that's all I really want to do. If you look at that one, and then you look at that, night and day. And that's how you do that. very happy with the way that these guys turned out so now like I said we can see out of them and that's what it's about being able to see yeah. yep 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 hope you guys enjoyed that little video now go out there and get those headlights clean if you ain't got to replace them don't um, like I said but this will be the last time these get clean because the actual lenses the covers are just really in bad shape a little bit stained if you get up on them close there's little stains on the glass themselves that just not going to come out but that's perfectly all right for me peace out